Di Roma. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai by Hashem, Rakak with us. All right, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. Well, I say to Wado, thank you to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushai for the Rakak with us. The Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Double honors goes out to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim, Wazakwanim all around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the whole for All right, we're the brothers from Minna Valley, South Carolina. Coming with a midweek camp, a Shabbat camp. All right, and um, come out on the highways and byways to bring out this word of the Heavenly Father. Pre preach repentance to the 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Say so it's time to repent because the Heavenly Father uh, is about to send his only begotten son back to the earth. Well, while I'm speaking, uh, thinking of that, Bible Kishai, you can give me uh, Romans 13 yeah. and 11, Bible Kishai. If uh, you think anything, you need to look up. Let's start at the top. Uh, this is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah, so now it's high time to wake up out of sleep, man. Now it's time for our people to repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Time for them to uh, uh, put off the ways of the world. Time to praise and honor and worship the true uh, God of the Bible. But uh, only the elect is going to do that, man. All right, only the elect from the foundation of the earth that Yahweh by Shimei Asai has chosen, chosen is going to come back uh, in their lot and and preach this word and believe and have faith and ultimately get delivered. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, I had some real fast. Yeah. Um, you know where it said it's basically uh, the elect was given the uh, faith in the uh, in the womb. The womb. Sirach. It might be a different, but I know one is Sirach. Uh, this uh, Ecclesiasticus, what I looked up. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 1 and verse 14. We could uh, harp on this, bro. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, yeah. and it was created with the faithful in the womb. That's right. So, yeah, hey. So, uh, you know, even before the beginning of the foundations of the earth, yeah. the elect, all right, the birthright was always given to, to the elect or to Jacob, man, which was, uh, uh, you know, become Jacob and Israel after the fact because yeah. you know uh a lot of uh you know slow bellies they like oh well we you just stole you stole uh Esau's birthright it's not rightfully to y'all no it was given to us from the foundations of the earth because what no uh you know uh Esau's spirit or uh Edomite spirit was is was or is a part of the elect so that elect is nothing but Israelites you know? right and they will find their way into Israelite bodies through you know, uh, the blessings. Right. Uh, the ones you wanted is, uh, it's Ephesians. Ephesians, yeah, okay, said, okay, uh, okay. Ephesians 1 and 4. Ah, yeah, yeah, I knew it was a 4 in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Let me, uh, let me get that real fast. Yeah, right. uh, it's the book of Ephesians, chapter 1 and verse 4. Ephesians 1 and 4. Yeah, 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 kind, man, but like the brother was uh, saying, that elect uh, uh, was chosen from the foundation. 
was chosen from the beginning. Those same spirits that created the uh, the uh, earth with Yahweh Shai in the beginning. That's right. Okay, and those are the same spirits that's going to come back and believe in these times. Come back and be out on the highways and byways and preach the word and preach repentance as our forefathers did in ancient times. Uh, this is the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahushua Mashiach, according to the good pleasure of his will. Yeah, man. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Uh, bring, bring that top part again. Come on, son. Having predestinated us yep. unto the adoption of children by Yahushua Mashiach. To himself according to the good pleasure of his will yeah the elect was predestined man mm -hmm. since the beginning yep. so that 144,000 all right and that one-third remnant is, is already predestined man the heavenly father already got those certain spirits uh, allotted to be delivered from the upcoming destruction that's coming yep. all right and like we said our forefathers did this in the past and those same spirits <clears throat> going to come back and preach this word again in the latter days. That's right. Yeah, Kyle's gonna tell you something. Um, so, Baba Kusha, you give me that First Corinthians, Baba yep. Kusha? Yep. First uh, Corinthians 14. Yep. And uh, 32. All right. The book of Corinthians, chapter 14, and verse 32. Right. And it reads. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Yeah, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets, man. All right. The same spirits that was back in ancient times are on the earth today preaching the true, uh, correct doctrine of Yahweh by Shimei Uh, Baba Kasha, get uh, that class. Get, uh, 28 in there. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah 28. Baba Kasha, the yeah, because the scriptures say what? The prophets before uh, us, okay, also did the same thing. Came out on the highways and byways and, and preached the gospel of your house shot, man. That's right. yep. And the same thing is going to happen today. That's right. <clears throat> verse, uh, Jeremiah 28, I'm going to start at verse 7. Mm -hmm. Never, ne Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. God, yep. what our forefathers did. Yep. Prophesied of these things, man. Yep. Of war, evil, and pestilence. And that's what brothers are out on the highway and by, highways and byways uh, uh, prophesying about what's about to come to Babylon the Great. All right? Yep. And, and rightfully so coming. Ain't like the Heavenly Father doing this and it's a righteous generation, a righteous kingdom. Now this place deserves all the death and destruction that Yahweh by Shimei gonna put on it. What's that wicked and adulterous generation receive a sign except for the sign of Jones? Oh, uh... Matthew 13, it ain't 24. They see the sign. I don't know if it's John Matthew, let me have it. Um, um, the wicked and adulterous generation seek the sign. Yeah. But they will not see the sign. Yeah. Except for the sign of Jonas. Which was already happening. Yeah. And also, the Lord. He went into that cave. He, uh, they, uh, <clears throat> 16. 16. Matthew. Uh, Matthew. Uh, 16 and 4. Yep. Uh, Hey, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, and I'm going to start at the top. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, tempting, desiring him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be fine weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but cannot ye discern the signs of the times? So you go a jacket go outside and be like, oh man, well my bones crack, but my bones hurt. <laughs> oh, I can smell it, it's about to rain. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can mm -hmm. feel it, it's about to rain. But mm -hmm. don't know that the Lord is on the cusp of returning, man. Right. 
Yeah, kind of. Yeah, Jake is, know the weather, have signs of the weather, but not know the signs of the time. Exactly. Know that we're in the last days. Yep. Knowing that what the uh, times of what, how the people acting, the love for one another waxing That's worse. Cold. Uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the weather, all right, it's all messed up. Yep. Um, just everything I had one particularly in my mind. Oh, how the time is speeding up. Yeah, yeah. And as Lord said, he'll speed the days up for the elect saying, yeah. roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. And this time, we're in the six month, uh, 2024 already. Wow, really? Shit halfway done, man. Yeah. The Lord's speeding up the time because this shit done. Yeah. All right. Damn yeah, the elect is about to get delivered. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to harp on for a second. Yeah. All right, we're preaching about, we preach and prophesy about the death and the destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great and various other places. Yeah. And the elect is going to be delivered at, right. out of that. Yeah. The elect is going to get the victory over the beast and his image. That's right. All right, so we're going to harp on how the elect is going to uh, be delivered. So, uh, Baba Kasha. Oh, yeah, got it. Got it. Um, verse 4. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh out the sign. There shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. And they probably was like, man, what? What did he mean by that? Da -da 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 -da. The, the ultimate sign of Jonas, uh, he was in the belly of hell with three days, right? Yahusha was in the belly and uh, of the of hell or the earth, which is the grave. Alright, uh Hades, right? You know, which is which is the grave, and that's that sign, man. And y'all ain't gonna see no sign until I come back out of them three days, man. You know what I'm saying? Right here, bro. Here. Uh, uh, Revelation 15 1. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, so the leg is going to get the victory over the beast and over the image, and the leg is going to get delivered, man. All right. Do, do, uh, oh my God, you know, and uh, uh, it's a lot. through all of the uh, trials and tribulation, all of the death and destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great, the elect is going to be delivered out of it, man. Uh, so just like the Heavenly Father delivered the elect from the flood, those eight souls were the elect at that time. Now this time it's the 144,000 in the one third. So brothers putting their best foot forward trying to make their calling election sure to be of that number to be delivered from the upcoming death and destruction yep. and two-thirds of you so-called negroes latinos and native americans gonna get put to death man men women and children too man it's a lot of uh teenagers dying women yep. dying yep. hey y'all two-thirds too man babies man y'all y'all getting put out of here man because the uh because the elect is going to either die in uh, righteousness, preaching the word for denying the, uh, the image of uh, the mark of the beast, or the elect is not going to face death and get being straight up. That's how the elect going to perish. Or some uh, have might, might have ailments and die, you know, throughout the course of life. They're going to be risen first. Though. Yeah, they're, they're the ones that are going to be risen first, though. Yeah. Come, bro. And say, I show you all a mystery. Not all of us shall perish. Yep. You know, not everybody that's on the earth shall perish. So, yep. like brother said, some gonna get beamed right up to them chairs to everlasting life. Yep. All right, hey, and it's a heavy thing because the only um, being to actually be raised by the Father to have everlasting life was Yahusha. All right, Yahusha raised Lazarus, raised yep. a lot of different people up to, you know, uh, uh, out of the grave, but they had to go back into the grave after, you know what I'm saying? They didn't live forever from then on. Time. All right, so that's why, uh, this is referred to a Yahweh shop as the firstborn of death, you know, little tidbit. Uh, I got something real fast. You wanted me to, did I already get that for you? Uh, nah, you ain't, nah, you ain't get it. Let me get you this real fast. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll Romans 11 and uh, <clears throat> 4. But what saith the answer of the Most High to him? I reserve myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And that's a, that's a uh, mystery within itself. You know, that's milk to us, but to like pastors and stuff, they couldn't tell you who them 7,000 is, and they couldn't tell you that the seven is a number of completion, and that's the number of completion in the thousands, which represent the 144,000, uh, which are all men, 12,000 from each tribe. That's right. Right? Yep. And verse, uh, 
Yeah, and uh, verse, verse five. Even so, then at this present time, also there's a remnant according to the election of grace. So that one third remnant, which consists of men, women, and children, the Lord said, okay, I'm gonna save them as well. Okay, well, we're gonna have to have uh, women to procreate, all right, because if that was the case, if the two thirds dying, all right, they gotta be raised back into, uh, from the, the womb of the elect, how is that going to happen? Well, we're going to have to wait till they get grown, of married, uh, the women to get married to age. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to be sitting there and, just, the popping he and yeah. just popping heathen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, man. The Lord got a, got a remnant that he's going right. to jumpstart the uh, nation of Israel with. And those are the system of Israelites, uh, you know, uh, of the one-third remnant of the woman, you know, for, you know what I'm talking about. But there's a remnant of men, women, and children according to grace. That's right. That's right. Good. Yep. Yep. So uh, you can uh, open that uh, Revelation 15 okay. and 1. Uh, 15 and 1? Yeah. Okay, this is the book of Revelation. 14 and 15? 15. Okay. This is the book of Revelation 15 and 1. And I saw another sign in the heaven. In heaven. Great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled up the wrath of the Most High. Go ahead. And, as I saw, and I saw it as it were to see a glass mingled with fire. Yeah. And they that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the hearts of the Most High. Yeah, man, and that's that elect being delivered, man. The elect above the firmament, looking at the uh, nuclear destruction of Babylon the Great, yep. in those chariots, right. after they have been beamed up, okay? That's going to happen. That elect is going to be looking at, um, can you read it again? Uh, sea of glass? I don't yep. want to uh, make it up. Uh, back in uh, Revelation uh, 15, and I saw another side, uh, two. Uh, two. Yep. and I saw it as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Yep. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image, yep. and over his mark, and over the number of his name. See, the elect is going to get the victory over the beast, over the image, and over his mark, man. Yep. All right? And uh, <clears throat> to wrap that all up in one, the Edomite uh, uh, structure of life. Yeah. All right? That, that beast represents what? That NATO and EU. Yep. All right, that image represents the philosophies of Babylon the Great. Yep. All right, and that mark represents the uh, sea hill, man. Yep. Okay? Yep. Then the elect's a lot. Oh, a lot. And the elect is going to get uh, uh, the victory over that, man. Right. That's a beautiful thing, man. Mm -hmm. That's what brothers doing this thing for. Yep. To get that victory, and Lord willing, say uh, themselves. And if it's in that, that lot, they're uh, their, uh, wife and children, man. Yeah. All right? To get that victory over that beast and that image, man. Yep. You about to say something? Yeah, what that, what that dude, uh, what that nigga said in uh, uh, Remember the Titans? I want the victory. Yeah. I want the victory. <laughs> That's what we want. We want the victory. Yeah, we want, we want that victory. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, on the sea of glass, having the hearts of the most high. Yeah, so the letter going to be on that sea of glass, man. With that victory. That, with that victory. Uh, uh, safe. Safe from the destruction that's written about in these scriptures, man. Yeah. Safe from the... Uh, it says, come up here a, a little so that uh, you'll be hid from the uh, destruction or something like... Uh, let me, uh, you talking about chariots? Uh, come up here. Yeah. It says, uh, yeah. Come They're going to be uh, beamed up in the chariots. Yeah, basically, that's what it is. Uh, it's a... Uh, come, come up here. Uh, that's another one. Yeah, I about to say. Uh, so you can probably hold that one, but... This is it's probably the same one through the spirit. Man, seeing y'all around, I gotta yeah. know, man. What what's going on? What's y'all? Tell me some stuff. Go ahead. Um. Well, first and foremost, yep. we come out. We the uh, Hebrew Israelites preaching that so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Hebrew Israelites. All right, that's written about in the Bible. Yep. Uh, preaching the names of the Heavenly Father, who the world is called God. His name is Yahweh. The only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai, yep. and that's in the Hebrew because they were Hebrew Israelites. Yep. All right, so teach the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that they are the true children of Israel in the Bible, yep. and that the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, is about to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, back on earth to deliver the elect. That's the spirit was going to that. To deliver yep. uh, 12,000 out of each tribe and 100, well, 144. 1,000, 12,000 out of each tribe and a one third remnant. Which consists of men, women, and children. Yeah, that one third remnant. Uh, a number of the so called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans because we were spread out 
dropped all of the four corners of the earth as yeah. a punishment. So we say black Latinos are Native Americans, yeah, yeah, but when you uh, there are certain let's see uh, look Blake Griffin, mm -hmm. um, Conor McGregor, certain ones where through the history the Irish all right, and the uh, Scottish they were taken over by so-called black men in the Dark Ages. They say they call it the Dark Ages because there wasn't really a record of who was ruling, but so-called black dark skin men were ruling all of the, uh, you know, uh, that, that western, I mean, that eastern world, you know. So we intermingled our seed in, uh, amongst the other nations. That's for now the Lord, he's uh, requiring us to wake up out of that dead state as, you know, uh, pursuant to the book of Isaiah uh, uh, 30, uh, what is it? Uh, I mean, the dead bone, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 38. 37. The King James Version, uh, he has a 1611. Yeah. I got 1611 over here, but I'm using this one. But it's uh, the uh, KJV. Yep. It's the best. Uh, it's the best version of the Bible because uh, he actually set down 70 scholars that were fluent in the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Latin, and he went through with the Septuagint, with the Dead Sea Scrolls, with the, all of the. Uh, with all of the writings that they had before and basically translated them to uh, the old Hebrew. And the letter J didn't come about until 1542. So his name is not G. And there was, there's no E or U. Basically the J is a, I don't mean to be long with it, but the J is a, uh, an extension of the I. And you can look it up, it came up in 1542. So if the Messiah walked the earth and he was Hebrew and he had a Hebrew name, why, how would his name be Jesus if that was before the inception of the letter J? And there's no E's or there's no U's vowels in the Hebrew language. Y'all speak Hebrew? Yeah, so most, yeah, but, but all right, we're, we're kind of novices on the Hebrew. We know uh, certain things, but we have, you know, brothers and, you know, elders that speak fluent Hebrew, like fluent. The Abba God, the, the everything, you know what I'm saying? From, from, uh, from the beginning. Yeah, so we try to learn to the best of our ability. Yeah. Could do better. Yeah, 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 but yeah. like our talk, how we speak, yeah. of course, is in English because yeah. we're in captivity. We yeah. came up in America, so we have to practice and learn yeah. our uh, ancient customs. But like he was saying, just because we say so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, uh, a, a Hebrew Israelite might look like another oh, nation. I got you. Uh, okay. let, let's uh, let's break out a scripture to uh, mm -hmm. basically how we uh, decipher. You know, through the spirit of who's an actual Israelite is yeah. through the word. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, there are certain ways you can be like, oh, that's a black man, how we dance, how we carry ourselves. Like, if I was to see you walking down the street, oh, that's a Negro. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have no, you know, I'm like, oh, that ain't no European, that ain't no. But you also have certain ones that look like us that have dark skin, but the progenitor of your nation comes from your father. The seed, sperm, which okay. means seed. If you plant an apple tree and an orange tree in Japan, right next to each other, right? In the same soil. One's gonna come up an apple, one's gonna come up an orange. They're not related. They're two different fruits, but that's, I say that to say basically the uh, the ground represents uh, the, the women, their womb. All right, and the seed that dic dictates the actual lineage of a man goes back to the father. So there's no such thing as like me. You are what your father is, basically. Yeah, the blood, uh, yeah bring that outside. Yeah, this is a book of, uh, Romans chapter 8, and, uh, verse 16, I, I believe. This is a while, yeah. Romans 8 and uh, 16. The Spirit. Yep, this is Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. So it's deniable who actually are the children of the Most High now. The ones that were spit on, the ones that were called all types of proverbs and bywords linking up to the curses that's in Deuteronomy 28 coming into America by slave ship. It's all in the Bible and that fits us. It doesn't fit the, the, the false people that's over in our homeland calling themselves. And they basically uh, took our identity. Right. So-called J-O-O. You know, we got a Jew. So-called faith to faith. Right, let me get another one. Let me get John 4 and 1. Okay. Right. Like the brother said, we go off the spirit of a person. That's how we determine they're Israelite. But we, if you through the spirit can understand this and get this, you're a lot, you're a Hebrew Israelite. So that we're speaking this word because the Lord uh, commanded, we're gonna grab that too, love son. First John 4 and 1. First John, first John. Yeah, try the spirit, first John. 
addressing the wickedest crowds and Pharisees that was Israelites. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And look, hey, all of our people ain't gonna make it, man. We just mark them either for what? Life or death, right? Yep. Yep. First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Alright? Hereby, know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh shall Mashiach is come to flesh is of Yahweh. Alright, I get that Hebrew. Because this is this is how we determine the spirit of man or woman yep. through through the scriptures. Yep. And, All right. And he might be up to the third. You know, because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he dipped out just how uh yeah. he, he didn't dip out. Like, yeah. uh, he didn't want to hear the you scriptures. Was, you was giving him a little too much too much. <laughs> but yeah, probably five on too. Hey, but look, yeah. this is perfect scripture. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews 12 and 4. Because he, he ain't wasting our time. No, yeah, that's that's uh, uh, 12. 12. Or 4 and 12. Into it. Yeah. But this is this is I saw I brought out uh yeah not resistant to blood shot. Oh, okay, okay, that's pretty good. It ain't what we're talking about, but it's good. Yeah, cause they could come out and inquire, and then we don't know if they're gonna we don't know if they're gonna brush it off or they're gonna receive it. Yeah. But you gotta uh this is the heavenly father calling out. Once the heavenly father uh call, you gotta answer or not. Yeah. But go ahead, brother. Hey, it's like it's like it's like receiving a call, man. What you gonna do? You gonna yeah. press that green button, you gonna press that red button. Yep, yep, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, he, Hebrews 4 and 12, yeah. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I'm going to start at 11. Okay. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, yeah. and sharper than any two-edged sword, yep. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, yep. and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, this is a discerner of the, uh, your mind and your thoughts. All right, this is how we discern and, and see if your spirit uh, is uh, Israelite or not, man. That's crazy because I, I looked and we caught eyes and he came over here. Yeah. He didn't even know. I mean, he just probably saw the bruh. This is spirit, though. Like, yeah. The Lord, yeah. Yeah, because the, Israel, hey, the uh, scriptures say your eyes shall see your teachers, man. Yep. So you're going to see Hebrew Israelites on the corners. We on the side. Yeah, we're we in our little duck off. Well, it's kind of not because it's still the main yeah, road. Yeah, it's though. still the main road, but it's like, yeah. Um, even if it's Israelites that's uh, preaching the wrong doctrine, yeah. you still going to see 12 tribes of Israel, yeah. Hebrew Israelites, yeah. man. We'll get the, one plus one. The, the Lord got that spirit out in the earth, man. That's how we know uh, another sign that we know that we at the end. Right. And that elect is going to get delivered. Yeah. I'm going to bring out one I had too. Because when people come up, I always like to grab, you know, you got your... Uh, Go to crossover. <laughs> All right, I always like to bring this one out to make Jake think. Oh, this is Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. All right, so a wise man will hear and increase learning. So when you hear you're a Hebrew Israelite, hear something about the Hebrew Israelites, now. If you're a wise man, you're going to increase learning. Just, and that's the story of every brother that came into this faith. All right? You, you what, heard this word, then the Lord put in your spirit to uh, start believing, then you what, increase your learning, man. Uh, let me get, well, I'll, I'll get this since I'm right here. You, you go hard on it. I'm right here. Just hard on it. And this Proverbs 1 and... 24 because we were just talking about that call because I have called and ye refuse I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded that's right so when Yahweh shot when he gives you that inkling of who you truly are yeah. you know what I'm saying this talking about the knowers man this talking about yeah and, uh, you know uh, the ones that accepted that uh, that we are the Israelites of the Bible yeah we're not no longer you know black people we're not Hispanic we're not you know, uh, uh, Native American Indian with the word Indian means savage. Yeah. Okay. This is talking about the ones that either when the Lord, you know, uh, uh, not uh, let's get that, bro. Uh, just bring that up. Uh, 
you know, basically in Matthew, uh, when I knock, uh, and no man, uh, yeah, 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 bring it out, because that link up perfectly with that. Man, basically the Lord is, uh, because going into the Passover, right? All right, the first covenant was a physical covenant. The second covenant was what? A spiritual covenant. The Lord does things in a dichotomy, all right? A uh, 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 physical and the spiritual, okay? The physical passes away and the spiritual lasts forever. So this physical Passover, which I'm talking about, you know, uh, the Passover of the Lamb, Passover of Yahweh in Egypt, we had to mark what? The, the, uh, the lentils of our doorposts, okay? We don't do that now. What we do now is what? Have them in our minds, in our hearts, in our lives, which is our mind, the doorpost to our spirit, okay? And, and the Lord said, if I not, and any, uh, let me bring it out, you got, you got it? Oh, Revelation 3 and 20. Okay, I, I do. Uh, this is the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. I'm gonna go back to that proverb. Okay, that's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Revelation chapter 3 and verse uh, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. So there you go. Hey, and this is the form of him knocking right now. Uh, through the spirit of power, it says, when two or more are gathered in his name, what? There I am in the midst. So this is your house I'm talking to you right now, man. Yeah. This is your house I'm telling you to wake up, yeah. that, uh, you know, out of your slumber, out of your sleep. Yeah. Okay, uh, grow up. And we ain't say all that because yeah. we introduce your house y'all yeah. person. We introduce yeah. the bare minimum then yeah. with faith. Yeah. All that'll come that's following right. the laws, man. Right. It ain't no overnight shit. And that's yeah. why it's like you gotta have a strong spirit right now to get it and then snap up out of it. Mm -hmm. Cause we had to we had to where we had to cuss for this thing, man. And Babylon, hey the spirit of the Lord getting strong, so what? Esau eat him fighting harder. Yep. Fighting uh stronger. Yep. Putting more uh demons out there. Yep. <laughs> Alright? So Babylon is getting wicked and wicked. It's getting hard, it's hard, it's getting harder to fight now. It is. It's, it's, that's why Jake ain't waking up like that no more, man. Uh -huh. Well, Jake waking up every day. Let me not say that, but uh, Salakia. But that's why some brothers say the late sealed or almost sealed. Because, yeah. hey, Jake, it's it's hard to get Jake out of this, that slumber or that sleep. Yeah. You sure you never wake somebody up trying to get this uh, hard sleeper? Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a lot, bro. That's all good, bro. Uh, Revelation 4. 3 uh, is 20. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Yep. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Yep. Behold, I stand at the door and yep. knock. Yep. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, yep. and I will sup with him, and he with me. So, yeah, like, like yep. oh, my bad. Go ahead. Oh, no, it's, it's only time to tell if uh, the Lord's supping with that man. man. Yeah. But hey, nonetheless, the Lord knocked. Yeah, the Lord. Us, yep, the Lord did not at his door. But I mean, it might be, it's like I ain't mean to cut you off, uh -huh. but it might not be the first time he said he see us all the time. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But it might be the first time he came up and actually said something. Yeah. But that's the spirit. That, so if he did always see us in his car, he actually saw, yeah. this is first set of Hebrew Israelites he talking to. That's good, because we start off with the names, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got other Israelite groups that scoff and mock at that name, but that name is 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 powerful, man. Yeah. And scripture say what, no salvation, under any name, man. Yeah, that's the that's the name that's gonna uh, keep you going, keep you strong, keep you uh uh, uh repenting. That's a daily thing. It's gonna keep you not proud. All right, saying those true names. So he didn't got the names of the heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, knowing that he is uh been told that he a Hebrew Israelite, been told that the heavenly Father, yeah, it's gonna. It's going to uh, send the Messiah back, man. I got you real fast. Yep. Acts 4 and 12. Yep. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yeah, so see? That's why, that's the first, one of the first things we give out. All right, yeah, we the Hebrew Israelites, 12 tribe of Israel. Then we're going to go straight into those names, man. And we're going to get that to our people. Uh, he wasn't scoffing. He wasn't uh, mocking. Oh, that's a ready. Looking at him. That's the, uh, got an arm Yeah, that's all that. 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 Yeah,
because we was going, the brother, we told him that who gonna get delivered from that destruction? The uh, the elect. We read in Revelation 15 how uh, the elect is gonna be standing on that sea of glass, all right, mingled with fire, looking down at the destruction. So we're gonna jump back into that. You had anything else, bro? Well, uh, well, let me get this real quick. Say something on this real quick. It's Proverbs 1 and 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. That's right. So the counsel of the Lord, uh, the counsel of the Lord, okay, is through his men. Because the scriptures say what? <laughs> Surely the Lord doeth nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 and 7, right? Yep. So, if he only reveals his secrets to the servants, the prophets, and like the brother brought out, your eyes are gonna see your teachers, obviously, and when you read up on Proverbs 1, uh, uh, it's gonna cry from the street, man. Yeah. All right? And that's what we're doing, and that and that was a that was a that was a testament to what the brother said, and that was actually physical proof. He can never say, oh Lord, I never yeah. seen your teachers on the highways yeah. and about, I just saw them on the YouTube, and yeah. you know it's the internet, yeah. you can't believe the internet. Yeah. That's where, that's one of the uh, uh, major reasons the Lord got us out on the highways and about, yeah. right up in your face. On a nasty Wednesday too, nasty I mean Thursday. Thursday. Nasty Thursday too. Yeah. That's why I ain't no telling where our brothers will be out, man. Exactly, yeah. Brothers out every day. Yeah, I think brothers, brothers be out, uh, yeah. Brothers go. Brothers in uh, Dallas be camping on Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. So that's, that's, and they camp on Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, some women them camp on Friday. A lot of yeah. Yeah, because a lot of bigger camps, so they might be split up and go different days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the heavenly Father having uh. He got his, this, yeah, got this word out, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 read that last part again, bro. Okay. Oh, uh, it says. I read the whole thing. Proverbs one and twenty-five. But you have said at, at not. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. That's right. So, hey, you said at not the Lord's counsel, man. This is the Lord's counsel telling you. And, and, and that's all uh, uh, most brothers needed, man. Hey, when I heard uh, the 12 tribes of Israel is the blacks, Tito's, Native Americans, yep. and we the most high people, yep. that was it for me, man. Yep. I started, I, I wanted to learn more. Okay, so how does the Savior look? Yep. Okay, what about this and what about that? You know, but that was, hey, that was just, you know, a uh, uh, spirit of how the Lord got his elect waking up, man. All right, hey, you got uh, certain men that ain't teachers. You might, mm -hmm. you might, uh, yeah. you know, uh, 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 when, when shit click, yeah. when the MOTB gets, you know, um, mandatory, yeah. and, 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 and you know, you're in dire straits and, and you don't know what to do, yeah. then you might be like, you know what, and something, and hey, if it's the Lord's will, because you got a lot of people that's going to wake up in Jacob's trouble, yeah. old Jacob's trouble. Yeah, that last hour. But, but it's already, it was already predestinated, yeah. like the brother brought out yeah. uh, at the beginning. Yep. Uh, for them to come to it, so no matter yep. when they come to it, it was already set up for them to come to it. Yep. Uh, back of, uh, 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 okay, Proverbs, and then I, I get that idea. Unless you got it already. I got it. You said 96? Yeah. Okay. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear is coming. That's right. So, hey, when when, when your fear is coming, I, when, you know, these uh, uh, pestilence start yep. uh, uh, ramping up, yep. but you already know they got BRRD. Yep. Coming out, yeah. uh, 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 you know when, when uh, they really start to show their horns yep. and really come down on society when yep. they when they uh, shut the grid off, yep. when they start using food as a weapon, which they already are, but yep. they're gonna use it for you to take this MARK. Yep. You know, hey, that's when and, and when uh, the police is, is not on, on, on call anymore. Yep. Ooh, that's when people gonna be like because yes, a lot of these people they 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 go they go to Egypt for help. Yeah. All right, they 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 trust in the police system where yeah. you know, they so called law abiding citizens. They uh they PG. Yeah. All right, they not in the uh you know, they not in the streets. They are uh, what uh what they call civilian. Yeah. All right. Call the police, but yeah. then when you can't call the police no more, what you going to do? Then you got to fight. Then you got to defend yourself, but we not going to defend ourselves. We going to pray on them um natives that's a uh, safe town. That's right. Bro. All right. Yeah, how why you how was shot? What is that? I said 30 years. 4, 16, uh, is it 33 and 6. Uh, I think it's yeah, and, the, and, the, and the righteous run. Yeah, man. I am. Um, yeah, so, uh, you want that Isaiah 9 and 6? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. this is going to go into it because what did the Lord say? It said, uh, be a reprover unto these people. I mean, Isaiah 6 and 
Isaiah 6 and 9 and he said go and tell this people That's right. hear ye indeed but understand not and see ye indeed but perceive not so man basically I ain't gonna lie we, we're a little bit crazy right we're going into something knowing it's gonna fail that's uh you know what I'm saying that's basically the they say that's the definition of insanity yeah. trying the same thing over and over expecting a different result but we don't expect a different result though we know that only the elect are gonna wake up and two thirds are not gonna get it. Mm -hmm. But we're still out here, nonetheless, to what? Wash the blood off our hands, man, and to be a to our people. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, let's speak Oh, because the Heavenly Father, um, Danny Brothers made a good point. It's still in my mind. What you said just now? Yeah, I'll just keep it. I'll keep it in the mind. Yeah, that's how it's been. We gotta get out of these bodies. Yeah, we gotta get out of these bodies, bro. We gotta get out of these bodies, bro. Uh, verse 9 says And he said go and tell his people Hear ye indeed but understand not And see ye indeed but perceive not Make the heart of this people fat And make their ears heavy And shut their eyes Lest they see with their eyes And hear with their ears And understand with their heart And convert and be healed Yeah okay well that's in another way um, uh, Let's just be a reprover to these people man Yeah. Okay because, uh, let me, but yeah, um, the Lord has it where the, the Holy Spirit, okay, the group of angels, they're basically deflecting this spirit. I mean, this, uh, because these words, this spirit, from actually absorbing into their, uh, um, absorbing into their actual spirit mm -hmm. to when then they're going to convert and be healed. Because, hey, this is the healing water. Yeah. All right, this is the healing bread. All right, and if you accept it, then hey, you got to be a part of the elect. Yep. All right, I ain't talking about accepting it for a, a certain amount of time right, and then falling out because That's we got right. a lot of them. That's right. All right, we got a lot of the, uh, what, what the, uh, 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 the apostles call them, uh, uh, not the infidels, but uh, I forgot what the name was. I was just watching it, but anyway, yeah, you know, some of the, uh, the ones that came in believing and then now they're slowly falling away from the faith, man. Mm. you know? Yeah, you gotta pray to the Lord that that don't happen to you, man. Yep. Pray that, uh, like King David said, pray that the Lord take not the Holy Spirit from you. That's right. We're prepared for it. Yep. 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 Um, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I know. Uh, that's what I want. Ezekiel. They said that you be not a rookie. Yeah, that's be not a rookie. Oh, that's Ezekiel three and okay, yeah, twenty six. Yeah, 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 I'll bring yeah, it out right okay, quick. Yeah, yeah. Ezekiel. Oh, uh, that's twenty six. Yeah, I said you started, so Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Got time. I mean, let's, 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 now I want to jump back into this lesson. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'll bring this out for you, though. Ezekiel 3 and 26, and I will make thy tongue clean to the root of thy mouth, that yeah. thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be a shall like it, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. There you go. So and this is what's gonna happen in the latter days, basically, uh um, um the, the beginnings of Jacob's trouble. Because you gonna have people trying to double back. Hey man, what was the name again? What we are, we Israelites, right? Yeah. But then the Lord gonna say, hey, I'm gonna shut your mouth and be a reproof and it's gonna come in different ways. It's gonna be either, you're gonna be dumb for real and not be able to talk, you're gonna try your heart, and, mm -hmm, or it's gonna turn into anger, but you're gonna just cuss the motherfucker out, get out, get out of my fucking face, for real. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I got something over me right now, I'm about, I'm about to hurt you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but please just leave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's gonna be a, a couple ways, man. Some brothers gonna kick. Uh, it was like right in the ass, like you ain't even gonna say nothing. Just yeah. put a hands on you, like uh, <laughs> Neil, what was it, Neil Mike? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and we're commanded to come out here and yeah. bring this word out, man. Yep. We're not coming out here to uh, try to seem proud or yeah. like we better and smarter and show who got the wisdom. Right. We're out here because through faith we believe in the scriptures, and the scriptures say command us to come out on the highways and byways and teach. That's right. He's like, oh, y'all know Hebrew? Yeah. It's kind of, I don't know if he's kind of being a little smart ass or not, or just seriously inquiring. That's the spirit, though. I mean, because we, yeah, we, you know we, what we say something, but we yep. yeah. yeah. But, but nobody's going to speak uh, to each other in full Hebrew to the kingdom anyway, though. Right, right. We ain't going to talk to each other uh, 
uh, whole sentences. Yeah. Uh, and uh, fluent Hebrew. Yeah. But brothers going no words and prayers and different things like that, though. Yeah. yeah. But as far as in conversation wise, we going to uh, speak how we speak, though. But let me get Matthew 22 and 9 real quick. Yeah, so. But yeah, this is why we out here doing it, man. That's what the Heavenly Father uh, told his disciples to bid the people to the marriage, man. Bid the people to the marriage of Yahweh by Shimei Uh 22 and 9? Yeah. Hey, it's the book of Matthew, chapter 22 and verse 9. I'm going to start at 8. Yep. Then, then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Mm -hmm. So. There you go. Hey, this is the marriage of the uh, of the lamb. Yeah. We're trying to get all of we're trying to get all of his people, yeah. the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, to come back to the lamb, which is who you really call Jesus Christ, and his name is Yahweh, right? That's right. Verse uh, nine. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So these those servants went out into the highways yeah. and gathered together as many as they found, yeah. both bad and good, mm. and the wedding was furnished with guests. Mm. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there were man there are men which had not a wedding garment. So men are getting bid into this marriage, good and bad. Men coming into the camp, good and bad. But then they fall out before the heavenly father come, but when the but we're going to see at the end who got that wedding garment on or not when your house side come. That's going to be the elect. That elect going to have that wedding garment on. Okay? Yep. Yep. Hey, and that wedding garment uh, is an in one garment, man. Yep. It ain't, uh, you know, getting yeah, the yeah, flyest yeah. little three piece. Yeah. You, get, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No, this starts with cleansing yourself. That's right. But ultimately, the elect already have those white garments oh, in the heavens. Yeah, I was about to say that and and you garments. can't do nothing about it. Right, you bro. either. That number That's that right. already has that white uh, 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 um, garments, which represents purity, yeah. which represents basically the one that Yahweh Shah shed his blood for and whom the blood is covering right now. Right. All right, and those are already waiting. They're already predestined. It already happened in the other realms. We just got to wait to see who fits that lot. And Lord willing, like the brother said, we uh, uh, make our uh, bidding to make our call in the election sure, you know, uh, prepare for you. Uh, verse 10. So the servants went out into the highways. Uh, so like it, yeah. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, mm -hmm. he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Uh, so that represents, yeah, yeah, okay. Nah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, basically that represents the the uh, non-elect, the two-thirds, man. Yep. They're going to be wanting to be like, okay, hey, but we Israel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. ain't ready. This yeah. is a special yeah. VIP party. Yeah. All right, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm going to finish it out because it's going to say it's going to be weeping and gnashing the teeth. Yeah. So you're going to be in a thermonuclear missile, man. Yeah. All right. Seven. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot mm -hmm. and take him away and cast him into outer darkness, out of confusion, mm -hmm. total confusion because... If you're down here left, when you howl about Shem Yahweh Shah destroys this place, mm -hmm. be a thermonuclear missile fire, mm -hmm. aka making it the lake of fire, mm -hmm. okay? Hey, you're gonna be in total confusion because you're gonna be, you're gonna feel like the Lord has left you. He's gonna uh, have you in total pain mm -hmm. until you come back into the kingdom through the loins of the elect. Yeah, so if they ain't looking on that sea of glass, right, bro? Exactly. If you ain't looking on that sea of glass, you're gonna be looking up <laughs> and fire. What it say they're flames. Uh, 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 you know, they were gulped in flames and they were amazed at one another. Man. <laughs> Bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Mm. Cold, yeah, so that chosen goes back to the elect, what we yep. was harping on, man. Yep. That elect that's going to be, uh, that's going to get the victory <laughs> over, <laughs> over the beef, the image, and his mark, man. So let's keep that harping on that. Let me get Revelation 7 and 1. Uh, yeah, read it to verse 4. And this is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, mm -hmm. holding the four winds of the earth, mm -hmm. that the wind should not blow on this earth, mm -hmm. nor it's like it, on the sea, nor any tree. And that's what's going on now. The only reason that destruction ain't come because the Lord got the angels holding these winds, man. Exactly. Exactly. But when Yahweh give them the signal to let let them go, man, all hell gonna break loose. That's right. Jacob trouble gonna start. Yeah. 
Esau gonna sow those two horns. Yeah. And that's an actual spirit because yeah. they holding back the four winds of destruction. Yeah. All right, four is a number of understanding. Yeah. But then once they let it go, no, that's when you gonna see. Oh, mercy, it's like it. Yeah, yeah, three, three is understanding. Three is understanding. Like it. My bad. Yeah, Water for that. Yeah, Four is uh, mercy, man. All right. So, hey, even out of those uh, four, you know, uh, uh, winds of destruction, the Lord gonna have mercy on His elect, man. Even and even so, it's gonna be mercy for you know some of His people that don't have to get risen back up, which is another lesson after they die to get thermonuclear missile fire because everybody that takes to see Him, uh, they're gonna be in the fire, but. There's gonna be some people that don't take it that's still gonna end up in that fight mm. that worship the beast. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You might the not ones that worship the beast. You, you might, might not, not take it, but you was gonna take it if you ain't die. Your ass is gonna the Lord know. You was yo, you was gonna take it if you ain't die. Your ass is gonna take it. So <laughs> God, hey, bro. God. Verse two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, yep. having a seal of the living power. Yep. And he cried with a loud voice of the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and sea, mm -hmm. saying, "Hurt not the earth, mm -hmm. neither the sea nor the trees, mm -hmm. till we have sealed the service of our power in their foreheads." See the elect, man. Yeah. The heavenly Father uh, telling the angels, "Don't let loose the seals. Don't hurt the earth until my elect is sealed, man." Mm -hmm. And that's that saying. That's the ones that's gonna make it. Uh, that's gonna get the victory, man. That's right. That's what we're gonna yep. uh, title this. The leg gonna get the victory, man. And then, uh, the uh, uh, proof of that, it's uh, it says after the aftermath. I think that's in Revelation, but after the aftermath, they're gonna say, was the Lord afraid at the ocean, at the at the sea? Was yeah, he was, was he angry? Was he, yeah, angry? Was, he angry? Yeah. was he angry at the sea? Was he yeah. angry at the uh, at the uh, forest, yeah. at the trees? Because the destruction is gonna be so heinous. It's gonna be so like monumental, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, verse. Three, it's like it, verse four. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, yeah. and they, and and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Yeah, and that's gonna be all the all, all men. Now, one hundred forty-four thousand is the first fruits. All men, the uh, gonna be the heirs of the throne, man. All right, gonna be the uh, the leadership of the kingdom, the government. The government the water yep. going to be the government body of the kingdom yep. that 144,000 yep. then all right that uh that one third remnant is going to uh also be a part of that uh deliverance man yep. yep. going to be part of that victory yep. um when the second death had no hurt yeah the first uh the first resurrection this is the first resurrection where the second death had no effect basically Second death is about thermonuclear fire. Well, yeah, so let's keep harping on how the elect gonna uh, get delivered and get the uh, victory, man. Yeah. So let me get Isaiah 1 and 9, uh, Baba Kasha. Yeah. yeah, that elect, man, yeah. that remnant. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If it wasn't for that, man, come on, man. If it wasn't for that elect, man. And that's what brothers hoping to be, man. We what prisoners of hope, right? Yeah. Hoping to be the, uh, that elect. Cause that elect is gonna get delivered from the upcoming destruction that's coming on earth. Right. I gotta start, start, start all closer. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, this is Isaiah three. The ox know of its owner, and the ass his master's crib. Yep. But Israel doth not know. Yep. My people doth not consider. Hey, that Jake ain't know he was an Israelite. Hey, we used to ain't know we was Israelites. Exactly. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, but the dumbest, stir, the dumbest, most stubborn animals. Okay. The ox yep. and, and, and an ass. Yep. Alright, they, they know their master. But we don't we don't know. You know? I mean once it was us, but yeah. the majority of our people don't know, man. And we got the spirit of discernment. We can tell what kind of Jake is a Jake. That's a yeah. smart Jake. Yeah, That's a yeah, college Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a good job. Uh -huh. He in suit and tie, that Jake yep. we were talking to. Yep. Well not suit, but he got a button up for the yeah. slacks yeah. and a hard bottom. Yeah. About to go back to work. Yep. He ain't no dummy. He's so, so uh to the world. Right. He's so-called smart, but all that smartness, he don't know he's a Hebrew Israelite. You're going to take the M-A-R-K. Uh, he, he ain't know he was a Hebrew Israelite. Oh, because, that's right, yeah. because, but, hey, that's how Esau Edom set it up, though. Hey, the wisdom of this world is full of the Most High. Yeah. Esau Edom set it up that Jake don't know, man. Right. And the full of the Most High is wisdom. So, yep. you might see, oh, that's 
you know, Native American. Yeah. The Israelites. Yeah. With the hair. Yeah. You know, it might seem like foolishness to them, but it's the most shit. Yeah. If, a, if, a, if, a, if a five year old know this, then they know more than a lot of y'all. Yep, that's right, man. That's right. Uh, yeah, but, even if they yeah. know they just a Hebrew Israelite, the one plus one, like they were saying. That's it, bro. Your kid know they're Israelite? Hey, your kid got an advantage. Yeah. Oh, uh, a lot of, a lot of. 99.6%. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, verse 4, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed a seed of evildoers. Man. Jake wicked as fuck, wicked, man. Especially now, boy. Man, bro. It's the past great, Yeah, Jake wicked as hell, <laughs> man. And start start with the head tribe, man. Cause you Judaites make it cool. The, 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 the water wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah then all it. the all the tribes follow, man. Uh -huh. Look at all the except for those real uh Issacharites over there in Mexico. But all the other Jakes and uh Israelites in America, that so-called thugs, how they dress, like Judah, man. How they act like Judah, man. You can go to Japan and see Judah. Yeah. See Jordans and got their yeah. flare jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our people wicked, man. Even in the, uh, in the, uh, in Yasharala that know they Israelites. We seen that video a couple oh, weeks wicked. ago. Uh, uh, Nate exposing them people in his church. Yeah, that was, that was... Hey, adultery is a, uh, a high thing in Babylon the Great, man. Yeah. That shit is uh, acceptable yeah. and, co and common. Yep. All right. Most common sin, you know. Yeah, that shit common. Yeah. People don't even look at that as a sin. Nope. Man and woman, you know? Yeah. Women doing it the most. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, just, they just better at it. Yeah, yeah, they sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we gotta get out of here, man. Yeah. Uh but uh yeah, keep going on, bro. Jake, Jake, we get his hell though, that's the point though. Children that are corrupt. Yep. They are forsaking the Lord Yahweh. Yep. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel to anger. Yeah. They are going away backward. Yeah. Why should ye be stricken anymore? Yep. Ye will revolt more and more. Yep. The whole head is sick mm -hmm. and the whole heart faint. For the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, mm. but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. Mm. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Mm -hmm. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate, mm -hmm. as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. A whore, a harlot. Yep. What, what cucumbers every day, right? <laughs> Verse 9, except the Lord of hosts, have left us a very small remnant. We should have been at Sodom and we should have been until Gomorrah. Which the ultimate end of Sodom and Gomorrah, yep. it has an everlasting uh, uh, memorial. Mm. All right, and that everlasting memorial doesn't mean that it's still burning to this day. It's that it means that from now, from then on until, hey, it's probably not even gonna be written out of the book because we still gonna have our description. We can see, okay, well, Sodom and Gomorrah, um, uh, 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 they um, suffered the uh the wrath of everlasting fire that's because it's a memorial in this book that's right, right. and this book is never going to die right, so right. we can look at it at any yep, time and, 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 and see oh yep. Sodom and Gomorrah got burnt up yep. that's the memorial you know what I'm saying that's the right. everlasting memorial because Jacob be like oh well is, is Sodom and Gomorrah still burning why would no but you got to understand the verbiage is what we are talking about man uh yeah, verse 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our people, ye, I mean, of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. Yeah, verse 9 was the uh, point okay, I wanted, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that remnant, man. Yep. If it wasn't for that remnant. Is it what, if it wasn't for that elect, the Lord would destroy this place, man. Yep. But the Lord had to what? Uh, Got to gather his elect. That's why we read in what Revelation that he got those angels holding back those four winds, man. Yeah. So he can gather that a lick. Yeah. Well, I said, what would if I if it had already been kindled, man? The yeah. Lord really wanted this place to be yeah. yeah. burn the hell up, man. Yeah, no. But it's a it's a time and a place for everything. So. Yeah, no, nah, that's the spirit. The lick right now, just in this time, saving you two thirds. Yeah. That's the only reason y'all still two thirds of uh, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, uh -huh. Esau, Edom, all the heathen nations. That's the reason reason y'all society still going on. 
life's still going on because the Lord got to seal that elect, man. Yeah, that's why you ain't seeing <laughs> eight foot beast yeah, yeah, that look like yeah, Jason yeah, yeah. come out the wood where the yeah. Lord ain't opened that portal yet. Because yeah, yeah. he got spirits created for vengeance. Yeah. He got newly created beasts. Yeah. And they, 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 they're they hiding right now. But when the spirit, uh, uh, when, when them four uh, winds uh, mm -hmm. get unleashed, mm -hmm. man, you gonna see, bruh. When that, when that elect is sealed. It's heavy, bro. Yeah. Uh, that was it on that. Um, I'm going to run through these. I'm going to run my thirst. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and I left just so I kind of like just kept it out. Oh, yeah, no, I got some more there. Oh, yeah, 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 I was good. I got some more there. Okay. This is 2nd Timothy 2 and 10. It's like it. That's a ton to it. 2 and 10. 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 Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> What is it? Second, Second Timothy two and ten. <laughs> two and two and ten. My man. <laughs> uh, this is the book of Second Timothy, chapter two and verse ten. Yeah. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, yeah. that they may also obtain the salvation, which is Yahweh Shah Mashiach with eternal glory. Yeah. So the Heavenly Father said, um, and our forefathers are saying that what? They endure all things for the elect's sake. Yep. Yeah, our forefathers knew why they were doing this thing. Yep. Just like we know why we're doing this thing for the elect's sake, man. Right. We endure all things. We in that lot too, brother. Yep. We endure all things for the elect's sake, man. Yep. All things of what? All things that come with this straight gate. That come with this walk and this faith, man. Yep. Brothers are uh, trying to the best of their ability to endure them things, man. For the elect's sake, because we know... We know what's at the end goal. That victory, man. Well, it's the time of the NBA Finals, right? They giving they all, right? They gonna play their heart out, right? They gonna play their best. They gonna do their best, right? They gonna put their best foot forward, right? Why? So they can get that victory, man. So that end goal is getting that victory. And that's what we doing uh, spiritually, man. Cause we want that victory over the image, over the beast, and over his mark, man. Over his name, over his number, over yep. all that. Yeah. And we know and it's written in the scriptures that people are going to get that victory, man. Yep. Yep. It's written in the scriptures that the death and destruction is coming, the famine is coming, right. and it's written that the victory is coming for the elect. That's right. So we're trying to be part of that elect, hoping, being prisoners of hope that we're a part of that uh, elect, man, yep. that's going to get that victory. Yep. Right. Uh, let me get uh, Luke 18 and 7. Book of Luke chapter 18 and verse 7. And it reads. And uh, let me start at 6. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Yeah. So the Heavenly Father, when the Son of Man comes, he's going to find faith on earth through the elect, man. All right? It says, shall not the Most High avenge his own elect? He going to avenge the elect, man. Got to get that victory over the elect, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, let me get Mark 13 and 27. Mark 13 and 27. Yeah, car. Jack off this shit. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're going to drink them fast. Yeah, yeah. That's why they get it. Hotter for they uh, uh, wipe this yeah, shit. Yeah, hotter for they wipe. Long way there, man. Uh, Mark with uh, 13. 13 to 27. All right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, back in Luke 18, real quick, it says, And so not the most high avengers on the leg, which cry day and night unto him, 
though he bear long with them, so the elect is crying out day and night, uh, verbally and within their spirits, man. Crying out. And please, Lord, uh, deliver us. Please, Lord, let us be at that number. Please, Lord, uh, uh, in this place, man. So the heavenly fire, and it's going to avenge us from, let's see. Already said the whole. <laughs> Let me get uh. Man. Nah, nah, nah. I was about to say you already said the whole. Yeah, uh, that, that, that was that was, that was I read the scripture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that sounded like the whole thing. Yeah, that sounded like the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They must be true. Okay. I want to get that word. I want to get that word avenge real quick. Lucky. Hey, and and you know, uh, I'm believe it also goes to that word uh, that he that word redeem. No man shall shall buy you, uh, basically redeem you, man. All right. Uh, so hey, the only redeemer, the only sal savior is Yahweh. Mm. Ain't no other way to get saved, man. You can't go through uh, the side door, like the scriptures talk about. Any man that go through the side door, hey, he's not fit for the uh, you know kingdom, so to say, man. You gotta go through that that straight gate. You gotta knock on that door. You gotta look your house out of his eye, man. And he got and, and, and then yeah, you can't just slide in like oh I'm in that mud. Yeah. Uh, Send the club line. Man. Yeah, right. Uh, this is the word uh, avenge. It's uh, in Greek. It says, ek dik isis. It says, a revenging, vengeance, punishment. All right, so for what? Revenging. The Lord is going to get revenge for the Israelites, all these other nations, what they did. And we'll tell you that uh, in Joel, the third chapter, how the Heavenly Father is going to get the get back. For the Israelites, man. We're gonna keep on pushing though. Uh, Mark 13 and 27, Bible. Okay. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of the heaven of yeah. heaven. Yeah, so the most high gonna get that elect, man. Yeah. Gonna go scoop that elect up. Yeah. Gonna give them that victory yeah. over the image, over the beast. Over the mark, over his name, over his number. Yeah. All right, the heavenly Father gonna go uh, uh, send his angel to gather him up. Hey, was this a? Is that a? Um, I mean, I'm roughly paraphrasing, but basically like the, uh, like a like a bird gathering uh, into her wings. Oh, I forgot where. It's I at. think you say the elect too. That's how the Lord's gonna say his elect. But put as a bird gathering into her wings. Cause hey, the wings are symbolic for what? The chariot, man. And it's gonna say as a as a yeah like in uh, salvation like a bird and wing uh, uh gathering her uh you know Yeah, like, hey, you know, and that's how, that's what the salvation is going to be for the elect, man. Like, uh, 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 a bird, uh, uh, you know, defending, you know, her, her babies from, from, a, from a predator, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to be cherry, man. Try to find it. It's talking about the same thing. Okay, okay, okay. That's what it said. Yes, but it's talking yes. about the ones that uh, uh, you would not have talked about the, the third. Okay, okay. But it's okay. talking about, see, yeah, yeah so okay, it's in the old okay, time. He, okay. he, uh, he paraphrased it from, uh, I forgot what prophet, man. Isaiah or, uh, oh, we got to look that up. Oh, it's all good. Uh, let me get, you want me to read it? No, nah, you ain't getting saying it. We'll keep flying. Yeah. Heard that little thunderstorm. Uh, so where we at now? Baba Kasha. Mark 14. 
Yeah, yep, yeah, Mark 13 and 20. Uh, 20? Yep. Yeah. Mark 13 and 20. Right, this is the book of Mark, chapter 13 and verse 20. And except that the Lord have shortened those days, yeah. no flesh should be saved. Yep. Yeah. But for the elect's sake, whom he have chosen, yeah. he have shortened the days. See? See what the Heavenly Father doing for the elect? Shortening the days for the elect. Then he's going to ultimately give the elect, what, that victory, man. These are all the things that the Heavenly Father are, are, is going to do for the elect. And it's written. All right, and brothers are uh, uh, hoping and praying to be of that elect. We're going to get that. Uh, uh, making our call elect short too late. Uh, so keep on flowing. Uh, what I had you read just now? Oh, it's a lot. Oh, Mark 13. Let me get Matthew 24. Matthew 24 and 30. All right, the Heavenly Father is going to gather up that elect, man. The Heavenly Father is going to deliver that elect. The Heavenly Father is going to give the elect uh, uh, grace and mercy, man, from the upcoming destruction that's coming to Babylon and great. The famine, the pestilence, the race wars. And ultimately, uh, well, we already said the victory over the beast in his image and all that. All right, but ultimately what? The thermonuclear fire. That's what the Heavenly Father going to do. Deliver them from that thermonuclear fire. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. Okay. This is the book of Mark, chapter 24, verse 30. Uh, Matthew. I mean, Matthew, it's like, Verse 30. And then, <clears throat> and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Yeah. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven yeah. with power and great glory. That's your house side, man. That's who the world is going to see coming back on so-called UFOs, man. Look, look at them Bible scriptures on this truck. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew thee. Yeah, Jeremiah 1 and 5. 20 and 15, you know that? Man, come on. See? You see the spirit of the Lord? The Lord pouring his uh, spirit upon all flesh, man. What is that, Amos? Uh, I shall pour my spirit upon all flesh. Yep. That's one not mistake. Two or three, one of them. Uh, keep, keep going in that other okay, one, bro. Okay. Um, back in Matthew 24, verse 31. Yep. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Yep. And they shall gather together his elect yep. from the four winds, from one heaven, like it, from one end of heaven to the other. Israelites, Hebrew Israelites. Hell no, that's how it's going to be. That's the spirit. That's the spirit that uh, you was going to say that. If you was going to hesitate a little bit, I was going to get out. Hebrew Israelite? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is all us. Uh, what you mean? Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, like, yeah, 12 like, tribes. Hey, yeah, Which way? Like a devil. Yeah. Wanna... Who y'all with? Yeah. Middle Valley? Middle Valley, second. Middle Valley, SC. It's all right. All right. <laughs> you call. All right, man. You're uh, you mean, you're talking about Middle Valley, Shai? You call? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, How you know this is speed off? Like, what the hell? Get some feel like, what the fuck? You gotta go, you gotta go. Wrap up. You gotta go. Hey, that's spirit. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, what group we with? Hey, she might kind of know. Yeah, she might kind of know. I'm so What group are we in? You gotta know different. Because knowing people like, hey, what y'all? Yeah, what y'all doing? See. What group y'all with? She was saying, what camp? What camp y'all with? That's why I kind of hesitated. Yeah. I was like, that's a weird question. I said, you say, I was waiting on you. Because I was waiting on you to say that. I was like, I was about to yell at you. Yeah. It's like, yeah. That's what I was about to say the same thing. Hebrew Israelite. Hebrew Israelite. That's it. That's what we That's what we were. We the Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Hey, Hebrew Israelite. 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 Hebrew Uh, this, Dang, what group y'all with? We with the Hebrew Israelites, yeah, man. Yeah, she looked like she wanted me to expound. Yeah. Like, what? No, what count? Uh, a Hebrew Israelite. What's your Hebrew name? <laughs> hey, man. It's a lot of. You yeah, you gotta use wisdom out here on these highways and byways, man. Well, uh, it's about to see yeah, you can't uh, be so. You can't. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Prince of the Power. <laughs> Look us up. Here go the pages. Like, damn. Should have get struck. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Wise, man. We people don't realize what we in, man. We yeah. really we gotta stay covert. Yeah. Don't cover this motherfucker. We gotta really. Yeah, like, yeah. bro. It's 
stay accountable. Got to be wise as a wise, serpent. Uh, harmless as a dove, man. Yep. Yep. Watch how you uh, deal with people and speak and what you say. Yeah. When you, especially when you out here on these highways and byways, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't want to what? Get the church blamed. Yep. Yep. That's right. But uh, yeah. Uh, Matthew, thirty-one. I think it was at thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. I just read you uh, Yeah, bring that back again. Uh, back to 24 and 31. Uh -huh. uh, he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Yep. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Yeah. Yep. See, that's and that's what Yahweh Shai going to send his angels to do, man. Gather up the elect. Right. To what? Give them that victory. Gather them up in those so-called UFOs, which are chariots, yep. so they can be on that sea of glass like we started off with, man. Yep. Have that banquet before they come back down, drinking that wine with yeah, the man. Outside. Yep, Jake, Jake trying to be uh, on that sea of glass, man. Yeah, exactly. That's the end goal, man. This yeah, thing, yeah. man. That's what you know. You want to be on that sea of glass because yeah. when you be changing the twinkle of an eye, yeah, you just gonna peer right on that glass, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I made it, yeah. Oh, and, and then it says the elect were Friday, but still gave the glory to you know what I'm saying. So, and it says, uh. Uh, if the righteous be scarcely saved, where yep. where should the ungodly and the sinners appear? That's right, It's going to be like right in the blink of an eye, bro. We're probably going to see them uh, coming cute. through the atmosphere here. Like, <laughs> like oh, yep. Lord. Yep. Am I part of your lit, Lord? Yep. Yeah, yeah, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And then, for you know, yep. little, boom. Yep. See, that big old... In the in chariots, man. Seeing your house shot looking at yep. that like, yep. like a groupie, like... Yep. Giving you yep. that crown. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Drinking that yarn with you. Yep. Uh, let me get Revelation 14 and 1. Let me know if you want me to read it. Oh, no, no, I'm good, bro. Revelation 14 and 1? Yes, sir. The book of Revelation? It's locking, bro. Because we harping on the elect, man. Yep. And that's what these other Israelite groups don't be harping on, man. They want to, uh, 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 everybody, everybody in Israelite group. Nah. Uh, I was watching the Elder Yasha Wamba video the other day, and he brought up what the apostles used to always say, especially when you know we was first coming in, the uh, the nastiness of the scriptures, man. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, a little part of the nastiness of the scriptures that everybody not gonna make it, man. Right. That's that's harsh, right? Yeah, we are loving people. You want everybody to make it. You wish your whole family just because that Israelite can make it. Well, if they ain't a damn demon, yeah. or they ain't do no, uh, you know. Strife to you. See, even if they are demon, you want. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah come on, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you want them, repent. yeah, you want them to repent. Yeah. You want them to, uh, like, once they believe, yeah, that it's like they good. Yep. But no, it don't go like that. You gotta be on that elect, man, to get, to get delivered, man. Yep. So these other Israelite groups don't harp on that elect. Hey, us brothers in like mine, we harp on that elect, cause that's who gonna get the victory. That's who gonna be delivered. <laughs> Kai, go ahead, bro. Uh, this book of Revelation, chapter 14. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. Yep. And with him, a hundred, forty, and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. Yep. That, that elect uh, body of men, man. The governing body. All right? The governing body of the kingdom is going to be that first fruits. And what? Have uh, the father's name in their foreheads, man. That's right. Have it in their mind. Been praising that name, honoring that name, worshiping that name while on earth, man. Yeah. That's why our apostles and elders and bros be getting on these other camps, not praising, honoring, and worshiping the name. Right. That, we don't know who to elect or not, but that give us a little telltale sign that you might not be one of them, man. Exactly. Because you, you ain't got that name in your forehead already. Exactly. exactly. Uh... Okay, I'm going to keep rolling them out. Second Peter, bro. It was more Second Peter 1 and 10. Second Peter 1 and 10. Yes, sir. All right, and this is the one we kind of been paraphrasing all day. Because we've been speaking about the elect, saying we are prisoners of hope, hoping to be the elect. And this is us and various other things we do, uh, putting our best foot forward to uh, uh, try to be the elect, man even though we know that the elect was predestined from the earth. Trying to have characteristics of the elect. <clears throat> Go ahead, bro. You said uh, second Peter 2 and 10? One. Uh, one, one and 10. Okay. Uh, this is the book of second Peter chapter one and verse 10. Gone. Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fail. 
Yeah, so that's what brother's doing, man. Coming out on the highways and byways, trying to bid the Israelites to the merit. Yep. Trying to do all the things that it, that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father so we can make our what? Uh, uh, give, giving our diligence to make our calling the shore election. So we could be of that election. That's right. That eclectos, that chosen. Yeah. Yeah. Ottawa Rathazai, Lord willing, man. Right. We are those spirits that were, uh, <clears throat> That were with your house side in the beginning. That's right. That were predestined from the foundation. That we just read on that card. Uh, that the most high knew us uh, in the womb. And ordained us to be a prophet. That's right, bro. You about to say something, bro? Okay. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. Let me get second edges. Eight. Oh, um, I ain't got my oh, okay, okay. I got, I got it right here. I got it right here. Just, uh, just, just hard on the phone. <clears throat> this is second Ezra chapter eight and verse one, and he answered me saying, "The Most High had made this world for many, but the world to come for few." That's right, because hey, that that uh, hundred and forty-four thousand, which are gonna be the first fruits of the kingdom, they're gonna have the most substantiate, uh, 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 you know. What is it? Substantial um, uh, uh, experience in the kingdom, uh, for lack of better words. Because the 144,000, they're going to be the governing body, which means they're going to receive more. They're going to be uh, able to, you know, uh, transcend the different planets, do all this and all that. Yep. Now, the one third remnant, of course, they are of the elect, but they didn't put in the works that 144,000 did. 144,000 are the priests, are the prophets. Okay? But the one third remnant, Hey, you gonna have some um, some of the one third women, which are babies, men, women, and children, which are women that ain't even have one hour on the highways and byways because the scriptures say that a woman ought not to teach. So, hey, that's that's gonna be a big thing to be a part of that one hundred forty four thousand and a part of that one third yep. because the world that's made for many right now is made for what the wicked ass two thirds yep. and all the heathen. Yep. That's okay, a, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Two thirds of Israel and yeah. the heathen. And the heathen. That's like people. 7 billion people. <laughs> that's a lot of people, man. That's uh, a lot of us. 144,000 yeah. and one third? That's yeah. not a lot. That's man. not a lot. But that's who that world, that's who the kingdom of heaven is going to be that's pretty right. much tailored for because that's the two right, thirds are going to have to come back yep. and have everlasting contempt. Yep. They ain't even going to really enjoy the fruit, the fullness of the kingdom until the Lord picks their head back up. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's levels to this thing for real, man. Yep. Even to the kingdom. Yeah, see? Yep. yep. And the elect. It's gonna be at that top level in the kingdom, man. Yep, yep. But by their works and by their faith. Yep. In yep. Second Ezra eight and two, I will tell thee a similar to Ezra, as when thou asked the earth, it shall say unto thee that it given much mold, whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. Yeah. This other point right here. Verse three: There be many created, but few shall be saved. That's right. Just as we was going into, man, uh, you know, the brother's lesson, and it's gonna be many that were, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, made to go into captivity, all right, uh, made to, you know, basically perish. Yeah. But the ones that are, are made to, you know, receive everlasting life, to get on that chariot to live everlast uh, uh, forevermore with your house side, reign with your house side, that's a few number, 144,000. Right. But then that one third remnant gonna have it cool too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they go, they, that one third remnant gonna get that victory also, man. Yeah. Yep. They're going to be delivered from the upcoming destruction that's written about in these scriptures. I'm saying that song of Moses, man. Yep, that's right, brother. It's heavy. Uh, yeah, bro, that's true. I ain't complaining. I ain't going to complain yeah, about it. I ain't going to complain about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to say shit about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> it's the second Ezra 9 and 15. I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Yeah, so it's gonna be more uh, that's gonna perish that's gonna be saved. So two thirds gonna be perished, and one third and 144,000 uh, men of each tribe is gonna be saved, man. And that, that's what? That's that elect. Right. Uh, 
Verse 16, 2 Corinthians 9 and 16. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me saying, like as the field is so. Hold on, Spock. Oh no, that's just the point right there. Verse 16, like as a wave is greater than a drop. All right, so that elect is a small number, man. And we're trying to, like we just read, trying to make our cardinal election sure that we could be part of that number. Yep. Hoping, prisoners of hope, yep. that we are part of that predestination. That's right, bro. Yep. All right. Prisoners so, hope, bro. Yep. so let me get Zechariah 13 and 8, bro. Yeah. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. See? So that's if you thought we was making up these uh, statistics with the one right. third yeah. and the two third, man. Yeah. The Lord said that two third are going to die, man. Yep. Two third of the nation of Israel ain't going to make it. Ain't going to get the victory over that beast in his image, man, his mark. Scripture says that I will leave you here and melt you. Mm. I will get melted. Mm. Yep. Uh, verse nine, and I will bring. Oh, let me get that real fast. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver as refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, mm. and they shall say. Lord, yeah, how about some y'all besides my power? Man, that's that so that's what we want, man. Yep. Yep. We want to be part of that elect, man. Yeah, that's yeah. We want that's how people in the world want uh, riches and fame. And fame. Yeah. Man, we want to be part of that elect, man. That's what we want. Life, man, that's what we want more than anything in the world, man. Yeah, be the first to ever, not to go off anymore. Yeah. Have the laws in your mind, man. Yeah. Be perfect, yeah. like uh, Revelation, uh, what 22 say, no more sorrow, yep. no more tears, yep. no more hurt, man, yep. no more Esau over you, yep. no more fucking American flag flying, man, right? Uh, what's them things called, bro? Uh, ob obelisks. Ob no more yeah. obelisks, man, yeah. <laughs> just that whole wicked vibe, everything is vibrations, man, yeah. it's a wicked vibration in this earth, man. Uh, I kind of leave you there and melt you. You put it, I will melt you. Cause we going through here because hey, if you part of the two third rim, or you part of, if you ain't part of Israel, period, you gonna be here to get melted. But this talking about two thirds, man. That's not gonna listen. That's rebellious of the house of Saul. Cause we're in the house of David, right? Like they're gonna be left here to burn. Yeah, the brother about to read the uh, the judgment, the judgment of two thirds, man. Uh, this, we just read in Zechariah what thirteen eight that two thirds uh, right. is gonna die, right? Yep. Uh, twenty. Yeah. This is a book of uh, yep. And look, it goes right with it because it talks about what silver, brass, and gold. We just read as silver is refined, as gold is tried, right? Uh, Ezekiel twenty two and twenty. As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it, so I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. So that's the Lord. He gonna gather all these Israelites, and that's why. The uh, apostles break it down two thirds. Yep. That's talking about that's not going to be delivered. It's talking about over here in Babylon the Great. Mm. The, but the majority and the bulk of the Israelites are over here in America. Mm. This is where the greatest salvation is going to take place from, right. man. Right. So that's why the Lord said He's going to leave you there and melt you right. if you're not part of the elect. Yeah, God, beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Yeah, because we read Zechariah, like the brother just said, how uh, the third part 
uh, the third part is going to get bought through that fire. Right. Two thirds is going to be left to burn. Yep. Melt. Lord, they going to melt your ass. You need melt. Well, you know how. God damn. Man, he got to keep you alive to get melted because a thermonuclear missile fire can, can uh, obliterate you. And say, like, you were just turning to powder, but the Lord going to have the way you're going to feel that motherfucker. Like, you're going to melt like the cartoons. Ah, like, yeah. <laughs> Like that dude, they, they, they got fucked up in that Tesla. But he got a lot and he was yeah, screaming, bro. Yeah. Like, we're like, bro. Ass, man. Yeah, bro. And we don't want to be like a, a part of that. Kid, bro. Hell nah. We don't want to be a part. We don't want no smoke. No smoke. Literally. All right. No smoke. Um. So let me get Psalms 91 and 1. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 91. And uh, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. yeah, say, we're, we're I will yeah. say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, yeah. my power in whom I will trust. Mm -hmm. Surely he, he shall deliver thee from the snail of the fowler mm -hmm. and from the noise of the pestilence. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father is going to deliver us from the, uh, the traps of Esau, Edom, all right, from the, and from the weapons of his indignation. He shall cover thee with his feathers, yeah. and under his wings shalt thou trust. That was what you looked for earlier. Uh, uh, and there's multiple ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one, this one good too. Yeah. Yeah. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah. yeah. So the heavenly Father gonna cover the elect from that judgment that he gonna send. Yeah. Gonna save his people. That's like, well, I don't want to use no crazy example. They be trying to. So that's like, uh, let me see. You throwing rocks at somebody, all right? But you got certain people you ain't gonna aim for and hit, all right? The Lord gonna hit certain people, and certain people he like, I ain't gonna hit you with this rock for two, I'm gonna hit you, all right? Just for a little example, he gonna have his people that he gonna deliver. Keep going though, bro. Uh, verse four, five. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, yep. nor for the arrow that flies by day. Yeah, that arrow that flies by day, it represents that what? Uh, that thermonuclear missile, man. Now, arrows spoke, uh, written about in 2nd Ezra 15 and 16, man. Yep. That fly from one end of the earth to the other. Yep. Uh, nor of the, for the pestilence that walking in darkness, yep. nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Yep. A thousand shall fall at thy side, 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. See, man, that's why we, we want to be a part of that number, man. Right. We want to be a part of that let. We want to be safe. We want to be delivered. Yep. Oh, and a brother, just to harp on about the other scripture brother read about being melted and how that, that nuclear fire going to be melting um, of Babylon the Great and various other places. That's why we want to be on that sea of glass. Yep. Yep, got to. We don't want to be a part of that. All right, but um, just keep it going real quick, bro. Uh, yeah, that was it on that. Got two more than we got, bro. Revelation 7 and 13, bro. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, and verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, yep. What are these which are arrayed in white robes? Yep. And whence came thy, uh, yep. they? Uh -huh. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, These are the, they which came out of great tribulation mm -hmm. and have washed their robes mm -hmm. and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. As we were speaking of that earlier too, as a spirit, you know? All right? So that, and that's what? That elect and that one-third remnant. This represents that uh, one-third remnant. Matter of fact, I might have you go up just to... Uh, okay. uh, uh, nah. Go to start at nine. Because this talking we read in Revelation 7 earlier about the 12,000 for each tribe. Now it's about the, uh, this is about the one third remnant. Go ahead, bro. Uh, seven nine. and nine. Oh, seven and nine. Yep. This is the book of Revelation chapter seven and verse nine. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Yeah, this that number, this that one third remnant. 
This is that number that no man could uh, number. Right. Representing that one third remnant of the nation of Israel yeah. that consists of men, women, and children, man. And that's how you know, like, the brother is uh, is on point because after it rattles off the 12,000 uh, from each tribe, yep. it says, after this, I'll be healed. Yep. The unnumerable multitude. Yep. yep. So that's how you know. Yep. That's yeah. good. Yep. Uh, so let me get Jeremiah 31 and 8 real quick. Yeah, the, uh, the Heavenly Father going to deliver that elect, man, out of his destruction from Babylon the Great. Go ahead, bro. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will bring them from the north country mm -hmm. and gather them from the coast of the earth, mm -hmm. and with them the blind and the lame, yep. the woman with child and her that travaileth with child together. Mm -hmm. A great company shall return thither. Yep. Uh, uh, nah, that's good. That's good. That's the uh, main part. One of them bringing them out of the north country, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I go to Jeremiah 16 and 4, 14. Jeremiah. Uh, uh, yep. 16 and 14. This is the book of Jeremiah 16 and 14. God. Therefore, behold, said uh, Salaki, behold. The days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, yep. that it shall no more be said, mm -hmm. the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So this deliverance from out of Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be so, uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. amazing. It's going to trump the deliverance from Egypt, man. Yep. See, right now, that's our biggest deliverance, the deliverance from Egypt. We hold the what? Passat for that, right? Yep. That's our uh, biggest high holy day, right? Yeah. So far. Yeah. But in the kingdom, the biggest high holy day is going to be the deliverance from the north, man. Lord. The deliverance from uh, Babylon the Great. Yep. And I don't want to die, Lord willing, man. We want to be a part, and our like minded brethren want to be a part of that first fruits, man. Want to be a part of that 144,000. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, therefore, behold, the day has come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that should no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them, mm -hmm. and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Yeah. In this Bible, hey, these words are plain unto the holy, man. Mm -hmm. So the heavenly father is going to deliver the elect out of the land of Babylon the Great, and the various other lands where the elect is scattered at, right. okay? And gonna give them back the land that he gave our forefathers, which is over there in Israel, man. Yep. yep. And we gonna govern the earth from there, man. And righteousness. And righteousness, man. Yep. Israel gonna be the home base of the earth. Yep. And, and, we gonna, the and, and we gonna govern the world from Israel, man. Mm -hmm. And the universe. And the universe, yep, that's right. All the mother planets. Yep. yep. Uh, read verse 15, then we out. Oh, that you already read that, ain't you? Read verse yeah, 15. That was 15. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so um, we're going to close it out with that. It's about to do a little rain. So we're going to close it out. The point was made. Uh, but all, all the precepts that I wanted to bring out. You got anything, brother? Oh, no. Yeah, so I don't want to rock the side. That was edifying and uplifting. All right? The elect is going to get the victory. All right? The elect is going to get the victory. So uh, with that, we want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakwadash. All right, double honor to the positive elders of great minister on the rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim, Wazakwanim. We the brothers from Minnesota, South Carolina, signing out. Gone.